Okay, I'm on the beach today at Potlatch State Park. It's up Highway 101. It's just past Olympia and you head on Highway 101 off I-5. Anyway, Potlatch State Park is one of the first public beaches you can get to and it opened April 1st, if you're in the I-5 corridor area that is. Anyway, what I'm going to do is show you how to shuck these oysters. I'm not going to show you a bunch of them, but I'm going to show you methods on how to shuck a few. So, I got an oyster right here. Some people, they'll stick a screwdriver and a hammer right there, and they'll pop that hinge. Some people stab right here, and they go in and get the muscle. What I like to do is this is the bottom side of the oyster where it's fatter. This is the flatter side of the oyster. The muscle is always going to be one third back. It'll be right in here of the shell on the right hand side if you're facing the oyster away. This is the back end where the hinge is and that's the front where the growth plates are. So without gloves, I'm going to take and I'm going to corkscrew the oyster shucking knife right where the muscle is. I'm going to pry it a couple times, shove it in back and forth until I get the muscle to pop and I look inside there and I scrape the oyster away releasing the muscle off of one half of the shell and I'll peel the oyster now if you'll see this one's one third where the muscle is anyway I'll leave them in the half shell for now because I want to do a count while they're in the half shell in the meantime I'll show you another shucking method on the stab method so, break, well, I was going to break an oyster, there we go, so stab method, get a nice solid rock, this is in case it's hard to get into from the side, Let's see if I can get it right angled, you stab it in the front like that, because that's thinner growth plate right there, so then you just go in there, and you have to have a very sharp tip let's say a very good point and then you just get these guys now these oysters are razor sharp if you'll notice I'm bleeding on my thumb already I don't even know what I touched but what I'll do here next is I'll show you the hinge method I'll just make sure I don't get any blood on the oyster so again this is the top of the oyster bottom of the oyster where it's fatter and here's the hinge so I'll take and pry back here to get the hinge to pop and then I'll reach in there and I'll slice away the muscle. All right, that's the three ways I know how to shuck oysters. They're on the half shell, I'm gonna do, there's 18 oysters you can shuck on the beach. You have to leave the shell right where you find them. I'm gonna do, you know, on the half shell until I get 18 count and then I'll shuck them off the shell. But in the meantime, I'll take care of my bloody finger. shucked. I have them counted up to 18, so we're going to count them again and put them in the bag. I want to do that before going home with them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18. These oysters have to be two and a half inches one way or the other across the shell. And uh, what I did do off camera is I shucked the other half so that I could just count them in the bag for you. But that's what it takes to get oysters on the Hoods Canal. They're everywhere. 
I just showed you about a hundred limits. <laughs> so down towards the water's edge where these other people are, there's a lot more oysters. But up here, the water washes them up in a pile. A lot of these are dead shell, but still, it's easy getting. You need a nice, long, pointy knife. If you're in the middle of shucking an oyster and it slips, wearing gloves or we're not wearing gloves, you might stab yourself, but be aware of that, be careful. I go without gloves. This was a bandage that I had from before. This is the new one for just touching the oysters. I have no idea where I got that one. I just seen blood. So these oysters are razor sharp. Anyway, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Press the like button. If you want to see more, hit the notification bell. It go a long ways in helping me make more videos. I'm shooting for 100 subscribers for the year 2021. And I hope to only go up from there. So, again, thank you for watching.